What's up, mamas? I'm Rebecca. You're watching the Reseller Mom Show, and today I have not one, not two, but three Amazon product reviews related to reselling. So I wanted to kind of step up my game and get three products that I thought were going to be really important to improving my business, whether it's for efficiency, just making things easier, or just an upgrade because I wanted it. And I have three products that I'm gonna go through with you. Um, two are fantastic rave reviews, one is not. And it's taken me some time to put this video together. I apologize. I put this out on Instagram a long time ago that I was gonna buy these items. I wanted your opinions on these items and that I was gonna do a review on these items. And I'm just now getting to it. But if you're new here, welcome to the Reseller Mom Show for Reseller Mom content to get more done, make more money and stay sane while raising kids and reselling online. And stay tuned, I've got three reviews for you and I hope it will help you make some upgrades to your business. Well, the first product that I am going to review for you, let me just paint the picture real quick and let you know, this is what I've been working with. So this is the scale that started it all. When I first started reselling, um, so I guess that was now June of 2016, so a little over three months ago, or coming up, I guess I should say on three and a half, three and a half years ago, hello. Um, I just ordered or I went to Walmart. I don't even know if I ordered it online or got it at Walmart, but just a food scale. I didn't have one in the house and I knew I needed to weigh items. So this is the scale I got. It's Azeri, O-Z-E-R-I, just um, battery operated. It's very light and it worked just fine. I've been selling for over three years. It worked just fine. Um, my main complaints with it <clears throat> is the surface area. Like if you had a big item, sometimes when you put it on, you couldn't see the display or when you put it on and you picked the item up, the display went away really fast um, or it just didn't hold the item well. If it was oddly shaped or something, if it was big, you sometimes had to put it long ways versus flat. So there was just a lot of, you know, it was just cumbersome and so therefore time consuming. The other thing that I didn't like about it is that it would turn off. So by the time I would weigh an item, I usually take photos, do, do the measurements, pack up the item, then put it on the scale and then record the weight of it already packed up in its like little resealable bag. And so by the time I did all that in between items, the display would time out and I would have to turn it back on, wait for it to set, wait for it to zero back out, sometimes press the button again for it to zero out and then press, then put the item on to see the accurate weight. And maybe I just didn't know how to use it. What I usually do is throw out the directions and things in the box and all of that, like right at the beginning, I never took the time to look and see if there were any things that I could do with this to fix any of those problems. But because it only has two buttons, I'm pretty sure that there's not a lot you could do with it. Um, so I knew there had to be a better way. <laughs> so I went on Amazon and looked at a number of different scales and I purchased a scale initially, um, because I needed a second scale for my photographer. So she actually got a better scale than this, um, which was digital, but it was still only battery operated. Um, it had a, a wider area and I think it was like 17 or $18. I'm pretty sure I have it in my reseller mom show Amazon store, that particular one. If not, I'll go back and check. And that works really well for her. You do need to replace the batteries. I will say that sometimes that does the same thing as far as timing out, maybe because it has more buttons, maybe it could be fixed. But the one I'm reviewing right now is the third scale that I've purchased. And again, there's nothing wrong with this. It still works. And I'll probably put it at storage just to have like a backup one. But the one that I'm reviewing to show you that I'm now highly recommending that is the one that I use on a daily basis for the items that I do um, is the Accutech All-in-One Series Precision Digital Postal Scale Model blah de blah de blah And so this is the paperwork that came with it. This is the box, I've saved it. I've had this for quite some time. I can't wait to throw this out. I hate keeping this stuff. But I was like, I need to show everything. I have to do a proper review, <laughs> all this stuff. So 
here is the scale and it's not that much bigger, but the surface area, let's see if I can do it like this. So it's not that much bigger as far as footprint on your desk or your shipping area, but the surface area is clearly way bigger than this round one. And because it's square, or I guess rectangle, um, it's just a lot easier to put your item. This also has a max weight of 50 pounds. And so I thought that would be good because I am getting bigger and bulkier things. If I ever did do any sort of smaller hard goods, I just thought that this would be better. I don't know what the max is on this other one, but I felt like the bigger it was, the less accurate it was. Um, so the main thing that I like about this, one is the bigger area here. It has still only two buttons, but it has a nicer display and I feel like you could see it a little bit easier. But note the cord, it can be battery operated. You can put batteries in here. Um, I don't know what batteries it takes, probably double A. Does it say? Yeah, three, oh sorry, three triple A batteries it takes. Also it tells you do not immerse it in any liquid, just so you know. Um, but I love it that it plugs in. And so when it's plugged in, you don't have to deal with batteries, replacing batteries, anything with batteries. But when you turn it on, it takes a second. Well, and I need to put it down, but it stays on. So I can do multiple items, multiple items, you know, get tied up with geo, whatever, whatever. And until I turn it off or until a serious amount of time passes, had an incoming call. So it will stay on. And that's great because you don't have to waste time turning it on, letting it reset, waiting for the display to come on. Those are seconds, I know, but when you're standing here doing only a few items because that's all you can do, that could add up to the amount of time of doing another item. Or if you're taking pictures all day because that's your day to take pictures, like you just want to jam them out. And so I find anytime I can pick up a couple of seconds here or there, not only does it save those few seconds, but it makes me less mad and frustrated. <laughs> Sometimes for me, that's like half the battle because I get frustrated when I'm wasting time. So it makes me calm. <laughs> I just, it's there, it's on, it's very easy to use. I like the display, I'm dropping things. And you know, it's still compact. It doesn't have a big footprint, but it holds a lot more, a lot easier. And I like that. Also, it has a way, and I haven't really need to do it yet because the since the surface area is so good, if you had something that covered up the display, you could press a button that like makes it hold the reading so that after you take it off to see the display, you would still see the display, it wouldn't go away. I haven't needed to do that because the display is bigger and so I can put more things, but if you really did have something bigger, if you do a lot of hard goods or something where it would cover it up, it does have that feature, which I think is good. Um, and, because I added like a couple of just like there were, I thought I was going to do jewelry for a little while, even though I don't wear hardly any jewelry. I don't know anything about jewelry, but I had it in my head that I was going to do jewelry and I still may, we'll see, but if I should come across it anyway, it picks up readings at 0.1 ounces and this doesn't. Um, so I felt like having a very sensitive scale cause I did look at some of the scales that allow you to have bigger weights, then they become less sensitive on the low end. And so you wouldn't be able to read a children's item that's maybe four ounces or whatever because they don't start until a higher amount. So I was happy with that. It also has a 10 year warranty. So there's that, I mean, the thing, now what I didn't do, which was what I wanted to do was actually put it, pull it up on the computer so that I could tell you all the information. But honestly, either I'll do a screenshot and include it, or you can just click on the link because prices change, but it wasn't very much money. It was like 20 bucks, if that. Um, and like I say, I just felt like I needed a change with the scale. It wasn't a major investment, but it was a major improvement. And those are the kinds of products that I wanna to recommend to you. Those are the products that I want to review myself and incorporate into my business. Things that aren't such an investment, but are a major improvement. And I feel like I'm getting a lot out of having this scale just for a short amount of time. A lot of time savings, a lot of effort and energy savings, and it just keeps me a little more calm because I don't get so agitated 
but I'm using the scale. Um, I think that those were all of my notes on the scale, so I'll just show it one more time. And it will be linked below, and then it's also, like, I'll put a link to this item specifically, that way there's no confusion, but I do have, like, a general Amazon store where you can find all the things that I use, and I don't just stuff stuff in there, it's things that I actually use, books that I've actually read, stuff that keeps Geo busy while I'm reselling in case you want recommendations on that. Like I've tried to really think about it in a holistic way of like all the kinds of stuff that make my business better or make my life easier as a reselling mom. Those are the kinds of things I want to tell you about and nothing more. So next up, we'll check out the next product. Product is the Wonder Lint. And because I'm retarded, I like kept saying the wonder list and I'm like why would they call it the wonder list that doesn't make sense because I can't read and I didn't take the time to actually read but it says wonder lint so if you've seen me on Instagram and I called it the wonder list just don't mind me but it's from the house of wonderful it's very snazzy very fancy and it's a sweater shaver um so wonder lint house of wonderful I don't know if there's a particular name of this I guess just the wonder lint but it's showing it has a comfort grip handle, sleek matte finish, extra large link collector, extra large shaving surface. And I love this. And when I put this out on Instagram, cause this was a little bit more expensive than the scale. I think this was like 36 or 38 when I bought it. Um, and in the grand scheme, that's not that much for as much as you may be using these things. Like the scale you're gonna use way more, but um, you know, you may be a person that doesn't have a sweater shaver at all that starting to use one will allow you to incorporate more items into your business. Um, so that's something to consider right there as far as making an investment and having that investment pay out dividends into your business. But so that's what it is and I will show it to you. But then I wanna just tell you what I had before. So this is what it looks like. We'll go back to it in a second. I had a battery operated this big $11 sweater shaver. My sister had one, she used it. I said, I would like to start using one. She got that for me and I used it like once and I was like, I'm never gonna do this. Like this is ridiculous. I'm never doing this, this is terrible. I don't wanna like, you know those things that sometimes like it's different for everyone but you just do something and you're like, this is literally killing me. <laughs> it was killing me to use that sweater shaver. I'm like, I'm never doing this. I don't have a lot of patience in general as a human being. So sitting there and having this sweater that I'm gonna like take all the little fuzzies off and everything with this little podunk sweater shaver, I was like, no, this is never gonna work. I'm not gonna do it. So I put it in a drawer somewhere. It's somewhere in my house. And I'm like, that's it. I'm just, it's not worth it for me to get so aggravated doing this thing. And I didn't really think it worked that well. And I'm like, no. But then I kept seeing on Instagram people showing the difference between the sweater shaving and, you know, not, or that they were able to pick something up and sell it for whatever. And there are so many cashmere specifically, because if you've watched me, you know, I love selling and buying and can easily find cashmere. And I'm like, I wonder how many cashmere sweaters I'm throwing back because it has lint or some other kind of sweater that would be really cool that's a good brand or lululemon leggings that have you know the stuff in the crotch where it's all kind of like whatever um or whatever so like I felt like I was at a place where I could mentally get behind a good sweater shaver that had a little more oomph behind it than the little rinky dink one that I had so I was in search, checked out Amazon, found this one. I have to tell you, I'm a sucker for like, this looks really cool. <laughs> it's just like black and sleek and just looks very, like it's gonna do some serious business. And so that sucked me in and then I put it out on Instagram and like so many people were like, yes, this person has that and that person has it and I bought it. It's a game, like the overwhelming support of people that felt so strongly about this sweater shaver in their reselling life, I was like, okay, sold, I'm gonna get it. So ordered it, got it, and had a whole pile. I had been purposely buying things that I could use to like demonstrate it. 
Um, and then also just for myself, like, okay, I could, let me test it out on that. Let me try it on these sweatpants. Let me try it on these Lululemon leggings. Let me try it on this sweater, on this cashmere. And so I had a giant pile. And so when this came in, I just started doing it and it's awesome. It is way better than the rinky dink one I had way beyond. Now this is the only, you know, electric super duper with the power cord and everything one that I've used. So maybe just having one that was more powerful than the little rinky dink one that I had would be great. And it's not unique to this particular one, but this is the one that I have. And again, was so highly recommended on Instagram by other resellers. So this is the one. So this is a nice big area. You can, you know, do a lot up and down all around, whatever. It has a nice area in here. If you can see like there's stuff in there right now where it all falls to, you can easily take this off, easily take this out and dump it. There's a little brush that it comes with that you can clean the little blades with. You can put batteries in here if you want to be like cord free. Um, I don't mind having it plugged in. I've just recently kind of like kept it plugged in to my power adapter extender where you plug in a whole bunch of plugs thing. And it just kind of sits over there because I, I kind of like the idea of just saving a pile, then doing a bunch of sweater shaving, then doing it on the fly. But every once in a while you do find something where you're like, okay, I just need a little bit and then I'll be good and I can keep going taking pictures. So I think it's good for me and my setup to have it out and available, but I feel like I have so much stuff out that I don't really have the surface area to like work on an item in this way, which is why I do prefer to save them up and then do it. Um, so this was awesome. Um, and again, it was like 36 or $38. There's all sorts of extra long 95 inch cord, also battery operated, 100% money back guarantee, which I liked because I was like, I'm not going to buy it and not like it. So if I'm going to keep it, I'm going to like it and I'm going to use it or the whole thing goes back. And um, so that's good. So I did a couple of weeks ago, take some pictures of before and afters and some video of me demonstrating it. And I have to go back and look at it and see if it came out okay to actually put in this video. So if you see it after me saying this, great. And if not, that means it didn't really work out. I did it on my dining room table. The lighting wasn't so good. I wasn't demonstrating it well. So I feel like this is one of those things where you know what it's supposed to do. <laughs> and I wouldn't steer you wrong as far as saying it worked and then it didn't work. So I don't know that you actually need to see all that. I just thought I was going to make this really glorious like review video. And now I'm like, it's been weeks and weeks and I still haven't made the video. I need to make the video and maybe they don't need to see that. So I don't know. I'm just I need a camera person <laughs> so that I can. It just really it was really hard to get the shots. Like I'm just not tech savvy enough to figure out how to do that. So anyway, highly recommend it. The scale, highly recommend it. Next up is the third item. So now I'm going to tell you the truth. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this down. It doesn't need to be there like that. So let me tell you the truth. I am a person that I only want improvements. I don't have time for like stuff that's just okay or just to replace things I'm already doing. If it doesn't make it easier, faster, better is going to help me make more money. I don't want to know about it. And so I thought in my head that a ring light was going to be everything. I put it out on Instagram that I wanted to buy this new Bauer, newer, new jigger, whatever it's called ring light. And what did everybody think? And again, I got pretty good overwhelming support for it. So I'm like, okay, this is the one I'm going to buy. And that was expensive. That was like almost a hundred bucks or 70 bucks or whatever it was. And I got it, the 18 inch and it came and I was so excited. I had my husband put it together and I started working with it and I was looking at the pictures and I'm like, so what are you doing? Because I don't know that this is any better. Like I didn't think it improved my photos any better. I've been on this quest and this kick for like the perfect white awesome, amazing, 
photo editing free pictures that I could find. Like I just want to take a perfect picture and not have to do anything else to it. I just want it to be white and be perfect and bright. And that ring light did not help with it. So my conclusion is this. If you're a person that doesn't have any lighting assistance. So you're dealing with daylight, you're dealing with your window, you have nothing at all, and you get a ring light, it will probably be a game changer because it adds light and it's daylight and that's great for you because you know of nothing else. But I have lights. I have the ESSDI or whatever it's called. I'll link all of this below to the one I have and the one that I bought so you'll see it. But it's two lights. I have them placed and now that I have the reselling room, I don't have to move them. I don't have to set them up. I don't have to take them down. And so that's great. And I recognize what a pain in the neck it was when I did have to move them in and out and over and up and clean up and break down and set up. And that was a pain in the neck. So if you have to do that, I totally get that. I used to do that for three years till I got my reselling room. So I get what that's all about. And that's why I thought having the ring light it's only one stand it's not two lights it's one light and yes you could have i guess multiple but you know you're supposed to just get one and put it in the middle and it's one footprint right now i'm dealing with two footprints with the stand that i have now and i don't have to move them anymore they get to stay where they are so if you're somebody that has two and you have to move them in and out like i used to it's a pain in the neck it takes up a lot of time it's a lot of effort, then you can break them because then they don't stay up sometimes as well. Like right now I have them rigged with like, like I think I actually have a dog clothing item that I bought at the bins that I thought might fit Malia, but it doesn't. <laughs> like I tied it around the whatever thing, joint. I don't know what it's called. The thing that does this, it just keeps, it doesn't stay up. That's what she said. It just flops down all the time. So now I've tied something around it so it will stay up. But like this was maybe 50 or 60 bucks this set. I've had it for at least two years, maybe even two and a half. I got them pretty early on because I was like, I'm doing this. And they're doing great. And when the joint started having trouble, I talked to my husband about it, see if he could fix it. And he said it was my fault because I like scrape the thing or whatever you do with screws where they don't work anymore and so he was mad that I you know ruined it of course so he contacted the company who's like clearly Chinese and like wrote back to his email like in funny English and stuff um but they sent like a whole new not set of lights of course but like a whole new things that make it stand up joints twisty things I don't know I don't know what it's called so whatever the stuff makes it stay and send a whole new thing well that whole new thing is sitting in the corner because I had rigged it up in the meantime with my dog clothes so until that stops working then we'll put the new system in that'll be my husband's job but for right now I've rigged it I'm a great MacGyver of things and so it's working for me right now, but I've never had a problem with the lights. I don't even know if I've ever replaced these bulbs in all of this time. Like, I don't even think so. Like, if, oh, maybe if I replace the bulbs, does that help or do they just go out? I don't know, but that's something to think about. Maybe if I replace the bulbs with brighter, better or something, but I know, why did I not think of that until I'm, oh, Lord help me. Um, so, there's, that's a possibility. Anyway, this is about the ring light. I did not think that the ring light did a better job than these. I recognize that it would have saved space, but at the same time, these can go back and you can stand in front of them. Like right now they're against the wall, which is behind the camera. And where the camera is, is where I usually stand to take photos of what's over here. And so you can stand in front of the lights without having any shadows or anything and take photos. With the ring light, you have it here and you have to look through it and hold your phone like through it or something. I mean, I researched as many videos as I could. I saw what people are doing. I was doing that. I just, maybe it's just me, but I did not have a good experience with the newer 18 inch ring light. I think it's called newer. I 
thought it was a pain in the neck. I did not like taking pictures through. I felt awkward, like I was gonna constantly trip over it. Um, I didn't feel like I had, well, I'm throwing things. I didn't feel like I had space to like move because now there was this thing standing in front of me in between me and the item. You know, sometimes I just stand here and then I go and I move the item and then I come back. You know, it was just, I didn't like it. So, you know, if that's what you start with and you go from no lights to that light, it's probably gonna be the best thing since sliced bread. But if you had some other thing, some other option, and then you go to it, I would be really curious, tell me in the comments below if you felt like it was an upgrade because I did not. I felt like it was a downgrade. Like I just didn't think it was helpful. It was, it was not good. I kept it about a week. I tried all kinds of stuff. That's when I got the photo paper too because I thought if I could have the ring light, which is gonna make it so amazing, and then I have the photo paper, I should never have to edit another photo again. Well, no, that's not the case. But what I can tell you, and I did a whole separate video on the photo paper, um, and I do like it. I don't think it solved my total problem, but I think that there are merits to it. It was $30, I'm still on my same roll. I put it up. We had the carpet changed in here. I put it back down. I haven't had to move it or change it or do anything to it. Like it's fine and I still have the whole rest of the roll over here. So bonus review on that. So the photo paper I feel like is a good move, but it doesn't completely solve what I was hoping to. And so honestly, between the photo paper and my old ESSDI two Majigger lights, that's all I need. That's all I need. I don't need anything else. I don't need this $100 ring light. And if you know of any other way, I'd be open to trying it again. So what I did was I returned it. <laughs> I returned it and I think it cost me maybe $10 to return it, um, whatever the you know fee or restocking or something. And I thought that was fine. Cause I was like, you know what? I knew I was gonna make a video about it. I did want to try it. I needed to see for myself what was going on. And I didn't think it was helpful. I returned it, I got the rest of my money back. So I was okay with that. So it cost me $10 to try. It cost me $10 to, you know, have the information to make this video. So that's cool. Um, so I did not, yeah, I mean, thumbs down on that one. But I'm not dissuading you from trying it for yourself. Maybe you can get it to work for you in a better way than I could. Um, but I'm just giving you my honest feedback and opinion. Um, I'm not sponsored by any of these products, <laughs> um, but I, I do like the idea of doing reviews and doing more of it. So I would really actually like your thoughts and comments on this video in general. Like, did I answer questions that you had about it? Did I give you good information about it? I tried to prepare, you know me, I get a little rambly sometimes. And I think in my head, I'm gonna do this amazing video. And then I'm like, that's gonna require a lot of editing skills and photography skills that I don't have. And so therefore my grand idea goes out the window. <laughs> so this ended up again, just being me talking. Um, but hopefully at least it gives you something to go off of, like another person that says, yes, this is worth it or no, it's not. Hopefully that just gives you a little bit of confidence to make a decision for purchasing. And again, the scale is not a big purchase, it's under $20. The sweater shaver is under $40. So those are not too bad. Those are not gonna make you or break you and you probably could always return it or whatever. Um, they have warranties and money back guarantees. The ring light, I was able to return it after being unhappy with it. And you know, it only cost me $10 for that experience. So I feel like in general, these were some three no risk kind of products, but the scale saves me time and aggravation. The sweater shaver allows me to make more money, sell more items because what I couldn't sweater shave before, what I didn't purposely pick up before, I now can. And I have, and I've sold several cashmere sweaters already this season because I have this now and because I know that this is an option for me. So of, of all the three things, I feel like the scale is like the day-to-day -day makes my life easier and really happy with that purchase. And then the sweater shaver is like the, yes, like now I can make another $30 on that cashmere sweater, another $30 on that cashmere sweater, another $20, $25 on those Lululemon whatever thing. Like that makes you more money. That makes your life easier. 
the ring light does none of those things. <laughs> so those are my two cents, my eight cents, my six cents, my whatever. Um, I would love, like I said, your comments, your feedback on how this review went. Do you want me to review any other products? Cause I'm happy to do that. I'm open to all of it. And, um, you know, just general comments and feedback on the review process. And then if you are somebody that's like a major ring light person and you went from regular lights, like I have the soft box lights to a ring light and you thought that was an improvement, show me your ways. Share, please. I would love to know. Um, because I would like to believe you. <laughs> so, like I, I would like to make it work. So if you know how, share with me. I would love that. Um, but as always, I hope everyone is doing well. I thank you for watching. If you can like this video on your way out, I would really, really love that. Um, leave a comment below and subscribe for more reseller mom content to get more done, make more money and stay sane while raising kids and reselling online. See you in the next one. Bye.